Hello, this is a beginner level sketching for designers lesson 6. Today we will talk about three point perspective, but before that, let's make a quick recap on the uh, le last lesson about uh, two point perspective. So, two point perspective it has two vanishing points, which are right and left vanishing points. Here. I make a quick sketch to put the object below and in the middle of the horizontal line to create different uh, point of view with different perspective, different uh, point of view. Okay, I hope you watched this video before. If not, you are welcome to visit my channel and check lesson two-point perspective and also one-point perspective lesson. So let's start with the same horizontal line with two points and we'll add third point on the bottom. Actually this point could be also uh, above the horizon line, so in this case now we will put uh, below, and you can start to draw those uh, kind of tracing line to create uh, uh, the place in the middle of the future object. Connect those lines together with the third point here, and from this third point you need to. Uh, to create the two more lines and as you can see our future object step by step starting to appear on uh, our our page this is a future object usually this uh, three-point perspective uh, using the in, uh, in the comics books uh, comics illustrations uh, it's quite an uh, unusual uh, perspective that uh, a little bit dif difficult to understand uh, and uh, in, uh, we almost cannot see this kind of perspective in our life only if you will uh, maybe fly above the uh, skyscrapers uh, or uh, will stay very very uh, high and look down to the to the street so as you can see this is a block like a like a building from uh, from the, with the top view so let's let's make a one more quick quick sketch here so two points on the horizontal line and third one below connect actually this point could be much far from uh, from the others and you can put this uh, third uh, point uh, mm, uh, much lower or much higher to create a more dynamic and more aggressive, I would say, perspective. You will see uh, further. So let's uh, let's check the opposite side. What could happen if you put uh, the third point uh, on the top, above the horizontal line? Okay, so. Again, you okay? My mistake here. Okay, this is a vertical line. Connect with the uh, uh, two vanishing points, uh, left and right, and create uh, additional uh, lines that uh, going down. And uh, you already can imagine that we are going to see the object from below, from below. So it's almost like stand under the. Uh, under the rocket, under the flying the object that's going somewhere in the sky. So let's summarize what is a three-point perspective. Uh, the perspective it has three vanishing points, and I mentioned before uh, this quite unusual perspective that uh, not too many using in uh, daily sketching. Only if you want uh, to create very uh, uh, expressive uh, view that usually uh, illustrators uh, uh, using into the for for the comics 
convex illustration. Uh, yeah, so one more time, one point, second point, third point, and uh, supported line. Let's make some really some funny rocket that's flying from the ground. Okay, yeah, quick connect corners with vanishing points. So this will be top of my flying object. Okay, this is the bottom. And then from the top, I connect this with the left vanishing point. And uh, from same point, the right vanishing point. And you can see kind of dramatic, very expressive perspective of the object. We can also add some uh, hole in the bottom. Maybe in the future it will be uh, our engine engine of the rocket. Yeah, let's add more details. It also will follow the this perspective. So I will suggest you just to uh, just follow this uh, this schematic illustrations. Try to understand uh, three point perspective. Train your in your hand, uh, put the third point in different positions, uh, put the uh, left and right vanishing points in uh, uh, more close uh, to the mid to the center. Uh, change change position of the uh, vanishing points to to see and understand uh, how it will affect on uh, final perspective and uh, I'm sure you will quite surprised by your results and so hope you enjoyed this quick quick summary uh, on uh, three-point perspective and uh, yes uh, I'm uh, looking forward uh, forward to meet you and that is our fire yeah it's going up <laughs> Uh, soon I will provide the link uh, on my uh, course, beginner course and uh, more progressive uh, intermediate course on uh, about sketching for designers uh, that you will find there are many new tips, explanations and step-by-step -step, uh, lessons how to become the professional uh, illustrator or designer in terms of how to sketch. Uh, hopefully we'll touch also some uh, topics about about design, about uh, illustrations, about uh, materials, uh, etc. So now let's see uh, how the object will change uh, the appearance according to the the position uh, above or below the horizon line. So, I will remind you we are using three point perspective. So, now I'm creating the first object that seeing below horizon line here. So, you can see the top top surface of this uh, of this block and then uh, the next one let's say I, I, I want to stack those objects together like one above another one so and you can see that top surface top surface here of the second object it became less visible and I'm almost close to the eye view that actually is our horizon line here so the bottom bottom surface bottom line of the object became 
uh, horizontal line, just straight line. But uh, as you can see, I, I'm uh, continue to use those side side tracing lines and side supported line to create three point perspective. Okay. So and in this the third object you actually cannot see the bottom line and now the object going to let's say fly above the uh, horizontal line so you will see the bottom surface of the object and also very uh, again very dramatic expressive uh, perspective by using three point perspective method okay let's put some shading here to show the to show you the bottom of the object oops just recognize the position of the, my camera a little bit a little bit wrong so I apologize for this next time it will be better <laughs> Let's make it a little bit bolder with a black marker to create like this. Okay, here I'm just adding some light spot to create the shading on another side. It always helps to uh, to make our sketch more attractive and uh, to work on on the details and show the details so yeah here we use three point perspective uh, it's going down somewhere somewhere there okay so this is one two and three below again I'm uh, apologize about my camera position uh, so yeah let's let's see uh, how we how we can use this three point perspective to create to create the illustrations of the buildings here it's kind of pagoda uh, and one more object first point below the horizontal line left and the right vanishing points so after a few times you find that you actually no need to create those uh, those lines and it you you will feel actually very comfortable to to create any perspective without those supporting lines it's all up to you you need to exercise and uh, draw more draw every day sketch every day uh, to do this please follow my my channel for inspiration for tips and uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, looking forward to see you next time